first thing we need to do for this project is to trace our hand. Now to trace our hand, I'm going to hold my pencil straight up and down, not side to side, so I get a straight tracing of my fingers. Now, it might be a little bit hard to see, but I can see well enough my pencil. If there's any areas you want to smooth out, like maybe I don't want to show off my ring, I can always take an eraser and edit that part. Or you can leave it, no big deal. Now, if you're happy with that hand tracing, the next step is to take your pencil and draw in all the bones on your hand. Now, we just learned about the different bones of our hand, so I'm going to draw three phalanges in each finger, except for my thumb, which only has two. Now, there's different ways you could draw the bones. You could do it just simply kind of like some ovals. I kind of like doing ovals that maybe are a little bit bigger at the top and the bottom. If you really want to draw like a typical bone shape, you could. It just might take a little bit longer. So I'm going to draw my oval bones. So I did one, two, three in each of those, two in that one. And now it's time for our metacarpal bones. So those are the ones in the palm. So I'm going to draw, uh, and I'm going to try to end them right here around the wrist. So I'm going to start at this finger and go down. Don't make them too big. What a lot of times people have them is they all go this direction. And really we all want them going towards the center point. So maybe I'll do my thumb one next. This one, which is nice and long. This one, I'll leave the middle one for last to make sure they're all kind of going towards my wrist. And then of course I have eight carpal bones in my wrist. Um, and I don't really concern too much about making these exact. They're all kind of like layered on top of each other inside my hand. Um, so I just kind of do some like tr rounded triangular circular shapes. I'm making sure that I definitely have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there I got my wrist. Now way down here, we do have a little, probably a little bit more space. And so I can do my radius and ulna. And that's just the end. And they're gonna literally go off the end of my paper because my arm goes on. It doesn't end right there. But back to the rest of my hand. Um, once you have it all drawn out and you like it, you don't have to erase anything, it's time to bust out the chalk. So I've got this container of chalk. It's got all sorts of colors in here. Um, when you're looking for colors, be careful. If you stick your whole hand in there, it's gonna get really colorful really quickly and really messy. Um, we have to be gentle with the way we kind of pick out using like two fingers to pick out a piece of chalk. So I'm going to start by outlining my bones, not my hand, just the bones inside my hand. All right, as I'm doing that, notice how I have nothing on the side of my hand. If I smudge against this, you see how easily that smudged I can, of course, take an eraser and erase it. Um, we don't wanna do that too much though because it's gonna get my erasers really dirty. Uh, so we really just, I have my hand kind of elevated. If I wanna use my pinky to prop up my hand as I'm doing that, that is a good option as well. But I also started from my left hand and kind of moved my way over and down. Um, so starting like with my pinky and then just kind of working my way down so I'm not smudging across as I work. Now. I do have to be careful for this next part because I do have to go back over where I already have chalk. And so I'm going to take my second color and I'm really just kind of trying to elevate my hand and not smudge my artwork. And I'm just filling in. All right, in the last area, the, I'm going to use my third chalk color. I picked out three chalks that I like together. And the third chalk color I'm going to do on the outside of my hand. So that outline that I originally drew. 
And now I'm not loving this chalk, so I'm just gonna switch it out. Because don't use a chalk that you're not loving, that's just gonna waste your time and cause you a headache. So I'm gonna try to use this guy instead. Uh, and see, this chalk is especially important to have be a soft chalk. If it's really hard to draw with, it's gonna make this last step kind of annoying. Oops. Okay, so I finished that outline. Got some messy fingers now. I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna put a tissue on top so I have like a finger ghost. And I am going to put it against that edge and spread it out. So starting on the edge of my paper and moving away from my hand. Um, in these little gaps, I would just go kind of straight out. Uh, do not just smudge all over your paper. You spent a lot of work making this look nice and that will kind of, won't be the best for your artwork. I'm just taking it, starting at the edge, moving out. Not going back and forth, starting out, up, out. And this is gonna make it look kind of like the glow effect of an X-ray. All right, and I really like how that looks. I could always go in with more chalk if I needed to, but I'm happy, and so I'm just gonna write my name at the bottom. Good. Your turn.